If you're looking to remodel your kitchen but don't have the budget to replace the refrigerator, there might be a way you can still use your fridge, even if you have to move it to another location. Did you know that for most refrigerators, you can change the way you open their doors? These handles can be reversed on almost any refrigerator model. You just need to remove a few screws and bolts. It's best though if you keep track of the assembly order and the parts you've removed. As for the necessary tools, you only need a screwdriver, an adjustable wrench, pliers, and a ratchet set. There's an easy way to get the most out of your citrus fruit. And the tool you'll need for that is probably somewhere in your kitchen. Forget about expensive fruit juicers. No need to revert to the standard elbow grease. Next time you want to have some fresh lemon juice, just use a pair of kitchen tongs. Place the lemon or any other citrus fruit between the tongs and use the force of the tool to squeeze out all the juice in no time. Speaking of fruit, there's a great way to keep them fresh for longer, and it doesn't necessarily involve buying unripe bananas. Place them into an airtight container and put it in the fridge. The less air reaches the fruit, the longer they'll last. Then, how about delicate things, such as strawberries? They're a bit more difficult to clean due to their texture. Here's a neat way to make sure they're safe to eat. Take three cups of cold water and add a cup of vinegar. Put your strawberries in the mixture and gently move them around. After you drain and rinse the berries with cold tap water to remove the vinegar, pat them dry with a clean towel. Lastly, put them in a sealed container and store them in the fridge until you're ready to munch on them. I'm almost certain you've been using this one wrong your whole life, but I'm just as guilty as you are. Remember those neck pillows we often use when traveling? Turns out most of us tend to wear a pillow around the back of our neck and secure it at the front with a button. Well, some people say it feels a whole lot better if you flip your pillow. Why? Because with the gap located at the back of the neck, your head is still supported. But you'll relieve the pressure on your neck if your head starts falling from side to side as you fall asleep. Not to mention that your chin stays securely in place. You may have noticed some weird bumps on the concrete sidewalk, especially in crowded or high traffic areas. This is called tactile paving. It was first used in Japan in the 1960s. Because of its efficiency, people started using it all over the world. These days, the system has developed into several types of paving for different kinds of situations. Blister paving, for example, is used at crosswalks. It's vital for people with visual impairment, warning them there's a road crossing ahead. In most cases, this paving consists of several rows of flat-topped blisters arranged in a square pattern. Then, there's corduroy tactile paving, rounded bars running across the direction of pedestrian travel. It informs visually impaired people about some danger, like a set of stairs or a ramp. Sometimes, after a long day, there's nothing more comforting than leftovers for dinner. Unfortunately, being as tired as you are, you might forget to cover your plate of food with a paper towel. And then, your microwave is likely to become a total mess. Luckily, there's an easy way to clean it, and it doesn't involve special products. Prepare a mixture of half water, half lemon juice. Pour the liquid into a bowl and microwave it for about a minute. The acidity of the mixture should help with decreasing the walls of the microwave, and you'll be able to simply wipe off all the residues. Are you one of those people that like to experiment when baking and aren't a fan of measuring tools? You can just use a whisk next time you need to add some flour. Stick the whisk in the flour bag and it should pick up a considerable amount of the product between its metal bars. I don't think there's anything I love more than simple and fast tricks to make everyday chores easier. Like this one, about trash bags. I bet that just like me, you've been doing this one wrong all this time. Open a trash bag. You don't need to ruffle it open completely. Just the top of the bag will do. Place the edge of the trash bag over the edge of the trash can and secure it in place. Then, simply push the rest of the bag into the can. 
and it should flip over perfectly. I love a nice snack as much as the next guy, but pistachios can sometimes be a real pain to open. They can hurt your fingers or even break your nails. But did you know that you can literally use another pistachio to open a stubborn one? Layer the openings of the two pistachio pods so that they interlace. Then just pull them apart and they should both pop open. Deodorants tend to make a mess, especially on black clothes. But you don't need a fancy cleaning product to get rid of the stains. You won't even need to change your shirt if this happens. Just rub the stained area with another piece of fabric once the deodorant has had some time to dry. It should flake off pretty easily. Surely there's a pumice stone somewhere in your bathroom. You know that weird looking piece of rock that you use to exfoliate your heels? There's a lot more you can do with it if you're creative enough. Turns out it's pretty great for removing pet hair off textile furniture. You can also use it for removing pills off fabric. You can always unclog your kitchen pipes with a homemade solution. It's just as effective as the store-bought and involves way fewer damaging chemicals. Pour some white vinegar into your kettle. Make sure you heat it up, but remember to open your kitchen window as the smell might get a bit overwhelming. Meanwhile, place some baking soda in the pipes you want to clean. Let it sit for a couple of minutes. Then add the heated vinegar. The mixture should pop and fizzle quite spectacularly. But don't worry, that's exactly what's supposed to be happening. After the process has calmed down, open the taps and let some lukewarm water run for a minute or so. It should wash off all the residues that were clogging your pipes. Nice added bonus? Take a look at the insides of your kettle. As clean as new. I'll admit, patience is not one of my best features, and I'm not very talented at opening jars either. But getting a rubber band and putting it around the edge of the lid works every time. It gives me a solid, non-slip grip and something to hold on to whenever I stumble upon one of those stubborn jars. But if that doesn't work, I place the jar in hot water. The heat causes the metal to expand, making it easy to break the seal. You know how hard it is to hang things on your walls, especially when it comes to items that require multiple holes. But here's a neat trick. Take a piece of tape and spread it over the object you want to put on the wall. It can be a painting or maybe even an extension cord. Mark the spots where the holes are supposed to be on the tape. Then take the tape and place it on the wall. Now you'll know exactly how far apart the nails need to go.